Long before the era of laptops, iPads, and smartphones, the rotary phone was a ubiquitous tool of communication. With its charming spinning rotary dial, classic twin bell ringer, and delightfully hefty handset, the rotary phone provided many novelties that have since been lost in the deluge of modern high-tech gadgetry. We wanted to bring back the simplicity and fun of using a rotary phone while still incorporating the conveniences of modern technologies. We believe we've done so with Retro Blue. Hello? What? Yes, the president? I'll be right there. Retro Blue is a portable and fully operational Bluetooth accessory for modern mobile phones. It can dial and receive calls and is built using nearly all of the original hardware from a 1940s Stromberg Carlson rotary phone. Users simply pair their cell phones with Retro Blue, and whenever they are in range, all cell phone calls will be forwarded to the rotary phone. Users can put it on a desk or table, and whenever they are at home, they can make and receive calls via Retro Blue instead of their cell phones, all without the need for a dedicated landline or phone jack. One of our main goals when building RetroBlue was to preserve as many of their phone's original components as possible. So, there are several main components that we hacked while building our phone. The first is the dial. We wanted the user to be able to dial phone numbers using the phone's original dial. So to do this, we took a look at the mechanism on the back of the dial to determine how these two switches send signals. Now ordinarily the signals would go to the telephone exchange, but we wanted to be able to use our Arduino microprocessor to pick up on these signals to determine which number was dialed. The second main component was the hook. We wanted to be able to determine when the user picks up and hangs up the handset. So to do this, we took a look at the hook's switching circuitry and these four exposed terminals. While these terminals were connected to the rest of the phone's rather mysterious circuitry, we were able to determine which of these completes a circuit when the handset uh, hook is depressed or released. And in this way, again, we were able to use our Arduino to determine when the handset is picked up or hung up. Third, we looked at the ringer. So the phone's original ringer takes on the area of 80 or 90 volts to operate. This was not quite feasible for our project as we wanted to have it be a battery powered, compact, final product. So to circumvent this high voltage problem, we used a low voltage solenoid. So the solenoid still uses about 18 volts, which is more than the Arduino's five volts. But um, by hooking up a couple nine volt batteries and building a, a little relay circuit, we were able to control this solenoid with our Arduino. So when the phone rings, the solenoid simply moves in and out and hits the bell and produces a pretty convincing ring. Finally, we needed to integrate the handset. So we actually ended up using the original microphone and speaker on the handset. And using our Bluetooth audio module, we're able to hook up the speaker directly. It worked great. And using the microphone biasing circuit that is shown in the Bluetooth module's data sheet. We were able to hook up the microphone, and while the audio quality isn't fantastic, it's pretty good for a decades old microphone. So in order to wire up all these components together, we used an Arduino microprocessor. So that is down here, kind of hard to tell with the wires. And our Bluetooth module is right on top here. Finally, the circuit in the back handles some of the microphone processing. Um, we are able to get input from the dial and the hook, and we have our relay that controls the ringer. We are also able to fit a battery pack into the phone, so our final product is completely wireless. So with all the components wired up together, our phone is able to make and receive calls, and has a pretty convincing ring. This was a project for Harvard's undergraduate uh, electrical engineering course, ES50, so we want to extend a great thanks to all of the course staff and classmates that helped make this possible. We would also like to acknowledge SparkFun's Bluetooth rotary phone, which was the inspiration for this project. You can find a link to their website down in the description below. Also be sure to check out the description to find links to our GitHub and other references if you're interested in doing something like this for yourself. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.